Whitney's drinking is a cry for help, Valerie. I'm gonna go to her. Chad, Whitney said she never wants to see you again. If you go over there now, you're just gonna upset her even more. Looks like Fox and his mother are ganging up on Whitney. I better make sure they're not giving her a hard time. Chad, don't. Look, I have to. She's my sister and I love her. Mother, what are you doing here at the bar with Whitney? Well, I was tired of being by myself at the mansion, and I just wanted to be out around people, and Whitney just happened to be here. Whitney, are you okay? I'm fine. Well, you just had a lot to drink tonight. It's not like you. Well, you know, maybe I wouldn't have to if the two of you would have done what I asked and left me alone. Fox and I are just worried about you. Yeah, okay? look, Whitney, the way you've been acting lately, honestly, it's kind of freaking us out a little bit. Okay, you know what? I don't have time for this. I have to get rid of my next set, if you'll excuse me. Question, did you by chance say anything that might have upset her? Well, inadvertently, yes. I I was concerned about her drinking, and I said she ought to be careful, and she told me to mind my own business. Uh-huh. I don't think she's in the mood to take advice. Well, I wouldn't worry about it. I would just be happy that she gave her son up for adoption. Happy? Why would I be happy about that, Mom? Because it's better than having a drunk raise your... Whitney is not a drunk. Well, you could have fooled me, Eve. Ivy. Oh, all right. I won't say another word, but just for the record, I was only trying to help. Okay. So, when can I see my grandson? You can't. Why not? Well, why would you want to? Fox and Whitney gave him up for adoption. Oh, I've said it once, I've said it a million times. I didn't give my son up for adoption. Whitney used my power of attorney. She did it behind my back. Whatever, whatever. The point is, Miles is my son now, and I don't want him confused by strangers coming in and out of his life. I am not a stranger. I am his grandmother. Not anymore, you're not. Oh, you have no right to keep me from seeing my grandson. Have your lawyers call mine lawyers, and we'll see. Excuse me, we are not finished talking about this. Ivy just dropped it. I will not. This is my grandson we are talking about. Our first grandchild together. Come on, why don't you just uh, lower your voice, OK? Whitney's uh, upset enough as it is about the baby. She doesn't need a scene before she goes on stage. Now, um, 